This is some developing news out of the district. A plan to make the Metro bus free for riders in D.C. is now on hold. City leaders were looking to roll the plan out this summer, but leaders with Mamata don't believe this is the right time. The question is why. Reporter Nana St. Dubonzu is in Northwest with more on from Metro riders, what they're thinking, what the plan is here. Nana, what are you finding out? So let me tell you, starting this summer, Sharin, Metro riders would have been able to hop on the bus and not even have to pay. Well, that plan has been put on hold. And one Metro bus rider tells me he is disappointed in this D.C. council for not seeing the plan through. There's a cascade of big promises, big ideas, and no follow through. Masiki Valentine is one of many DC bus riders that were looking forward to July 1st, the day that he would no longer have to pay for his bus rides after DC Council voted unanimously last year to waive bus trip fares for all DC residents. Well, those plans are now on hold. It's quite up the council's alley to promise that they're going to put some policy in place that either doesn't have the necessary funding or the correct direct operations, um, and then we as residents are the ones who have to sit back and kind of take the downfall. In a letter to Mayor Muriel Bowser and Council from the Washington Metropolitan Area Transit Authority, board members say they do not believe now is the right time to engage in discussions with the district about zero fare program. They go on to say they are facing a steep fiscal cliff that requires the region's total attention. They are asking Council to defer the legislation for a year so they can take a look at a regional approach that includes Maryland and Virginia. It would be tremendous uh, if D.C. stuck to their promises uh, to keep transit low and free for residents. Valentine isn't the only person upset. Council Chair Phil Mendelson in a statement to Fox 5 says, I'm disappointed in the delay, but the board leaves us no choice. Council Member Charles Allen, who proposed the bill, says, I'm frustrated with WMATA. He goes on to say he's skeptical about Virginia and Maryland's interest in fare-free buses. If D.C. is putting together the funding to make sure that our residents can get on a bus service for free, then that's what we need to do. Under the proposed plan, the district would pay Metro $42 million annually. Leaders with the city say WMATA ultimately has the final say because they have to implement the plan, a plan that riders say could have left them with extra money in their pockets. I think it'll really help toward other things like groceries. Now, we did reach out to council asking them how we got here, and we're told that Chairman Mendelson and Council Member Allen actually met with Randy Clark. That's Metro CEO. He seems supportive about the plan, the plan that has now been pushed back for a year. If we get any updates on the story, we'll update it for you here and online. Back to you. Nana, thank you.